science experiments. Remember those in maybe elementary school or middle school? And for sure you probably remember the ones in high school. Well, we're gonna do some adult science projects today. You're in the garden with Patrick. Today, we're doing a little bit of an experiment. We got two things for you that we're gonna experiment with, and I wanna kinda give you an idea whether these things work. So one of the things that you look at when you're gonna be planting your plants in the garden, of course, most important thing is the last frost date in your area, your zone. Uh, you can find those, I'll put a link uh, in the bottom where you can look that up. You can just Google that and find out what the last frost is in your zone, or maybe even you don't even know what zone you're in. Uh, you can look that up too. So that's a, probably the most important thing that you want to do when you're doing your planting for your spring garden. And of course, uh, uh, for your fall garden, you're going to want to know when the, the first frost is going to be. So uh, it's a little windy here <laughs> in El Paso. So uh, hopefully uh, you don't blow over. So if you see the uh, camera shaking a little bit, that's our wind. We're getting expecting 60 mile an hour uh, gusts so um, we'll press, hopefully we'll be able to get through this video so one of the things that I wanted to experiment with is of course everybody talks about that your your ground temperature uh, makes a difference especially for pepper plants and of course your hot peppers your bell peppers but also tomato plants and 50 to 60 degrees is what uh, the general consensus is to be safe to put your plants in the uh, ground. Doesn't necessarily mean uh, the air temperature per se, although they do recommend the, you know, the 40s or middle 50s at least uh, to put your plants in the ground uh, with the air temperature of that temperature. So what I just decided is, I wonder if I could speed up the process a little bit. My, my um, last frost date is March the 17th. Uh, here in, in uh, zone 8A and what we're going to be checking is is I put some uh, black um, paper here it's it's actually a garbage bag that I put on the ground here and you can see also that I exposed some other areas that I didn't have the black um, plastic on there of course the black is supposed to absorb the heat we've had really warm days uh, here and one of the things that I theorized is that the black plastic will absorb the heat and maybe heat up the ground a little bit more quickly and that would allow me to uh, plant sooner maybe a week maybe two weeks sooner so we're gonna find out if that theory is correct so what I did is I took a simple thermometer and a probe and we're gonna what we're gonna do is you can see here the uh, temperature air temperature right now is about 74 degrees and we're going to put that in the different areas here in the black paper uh, plastic area and then we're going to also put it in the area that's exposed to the air and we're going to find out what happens to the air to the uh, soil temperature under each of those little areas so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our probe in the area where it is not exposed. I'm going to put it about six inches deep, see if that makes a difference. And we're going to look at the temperature of the soil. So it's slowly going down. And it looks like we're getting close stabilizing around 63 degrees so my soil temperature right now is 63 degrees and that seems to be pretty good for uh, planting at least minimally uh, some of my pepper plants and my tomato plants as long as it doesn't freeze they're gonna be in good shape okay so we're stabilized at 62 now what we're gonna do now I'm gonna poke a hole in the plastic here underneath the plastic same depth about six inches or so and we're going to see what happens to that temperature. Sixty one kind of stabilized there. So there's about a one degree difference in 
up oh, now it's going down to 60 there's about a two degree difference in the soil temperature but not what I was expecting I was expecting underneath the black plastic to be a lot warmer and we're actually two degrees cooler in that area so what does that mean basically uh, really doesn't matter much if you put uh, black plastic to absorb some of the heat and try to heat up your soil a little bit um, faster that's just my little experiment that we did here at the house um, I, I had the plastic on for about a week and a half so uh, and we had some pretty decent temperatures so um, my theory didn't work uh, so best to not put any plastic over your uh, beds and let it be exposed and that way you can plant but again it doesn't hurt to just use that probe and check out your temperature of your soil to make sure that it's uh, safe and good to uh, go ahead and start tra transplanting your uh, seedlings if you have those or if you have uh, plants that you uh, purchased at um, a nursery or Lowe's or Home Depot or someplace like that you can plant those safely now uh, with the soil temperature in the um, 60s for me.